Hello, good evening. What may I get you tonight? I've been told I'm the best bartender from Timbuktu to Portland. So please, step up to the bar and I'll serve you what is likely to be the best beverage you've ever had. And your last. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to Side 9 Homestead. I'm Sean. I'm Jody. <laughs> Decided to switch that up a wow, little bit today. Wow, that was today. weird. That's why I didn't know what to do. I know, right? Okay. So, hey, so this video should be a fun, quick video. And what we wanted to do was just share our experience for new people that want to start the carnivore lifestyle. We wanted to kind of um, give what our lessons learned were because there were so many that we wish we knew when we started because most carnivore videos with people talking mm -hmm. are just about, you know, I've lost this much weight. I don't have these illnesses anymore. Mm -hmm. And we're guilty because we've did several of them because yeah. people want to know, Hey, how does this change your life? So yeah. we've done those too. Mm -hmm. And you could see one here. Um, but what we wanted to do was have a quick talk about some of the stuff that you should consider, consider before you actually start. Right. And give some tips and, and hints on what to do um, before you start. So I think the very, let me, I'll start with okay. one. The very first one that you have to have ready before you start, because um, like what, when we started, we gave, we quit cold turkey everything. Soda, even though we never really drank soda. No. Um, but, but, but we did have soda it. and alcohol yeah. as mixers, right? So we gave up soda, we gave up alcohol, we gave up coffee. We gave up every form of beverage except water. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> we we, hard. we were we were all in though. It was yeah. I mean it was hard the first couple of days, but then we yeah. were like you know let's just move forward because everything was working so well. Yeah. Um. So when you give up all the beverages and you're only drinking water, you'll dehydrate. You'll um deplete your electrolytes. So I would say the very first thing that you have to have on yes. is that have to have ready or some kind of electrolytes you have to have electrolytes yeah. and this isn't a commercial for element <laughs> no. even though we're not sponsored but we'd love to be <laughs> no we do love the elements though they have yeah. different flavors yeah because if you don't in the beginning i woke up with horrific leg pains uh, yeah like charlie horse yeah because i wasn't getting enough salts and stuff because we were when we started i think we started on a sunday and I don't think our electrolytes came until like Wednesday or Thursday. So we had to go those few days without anything. Because we didn't know. We learned we after like, we eh, watched a couple more videos. We'll just chuck a little bit of salt in and salt our food. We'll be fine. And you're not, especially in that beginning part, because, you know, like with anything, you're losing that water weight in the beginning and the inflammation. So there's a big, you know, if you look at my weight loss chart, it's a huge jump in the big or a huge dive in the beginning. And then it's like slowly, you know, trickled down. But in that beginning part, you're losing so fast, you have to do something. And you know, that was always crazy because we'd always watch commercials on TV, like Jenny Craig and all that stuff, lose 18 pounds in 10 days. So like, how yeah. can you do that? You actually can. <laughs> But you could do it healthy through yeah. carnivore diet versus eating that pre-made crap that they make that you have to pay for. Yes. And they send you a box of crap food. <laughs> yeah. So you have to have your electrolyte beverages ready from day yeah. one because I suffered for a while. Mm -hmm. And even now, because if you're outside sweating and you're drinking, you always, so, every, so this is my water bottle. It's 32 ounces and one of those element LMNT mm -hmm. um, flavor packets is for 32 ounces. So I pour that in there and I have cold water gallons because we were using water bottles mm -hmm. and that's a waste of environment. Yeah. <laughs> There's so yeah. many of those bottles because you could put two in here versus the big gallon jug. So we started buying the gallons, pouring them in there. We have well water, so... And it's really hard water. Yeah, so. and you have to be careful what water you drink too because if you drink, if you buy drinking water, shockingly they're doing reverse osmosis now for yeah. some drinking water which is the purest form of water mm -hmm. or even like water. Um, because if it's drinking water it'll tell you what tap it came out of what yeah. municipality water so it you're does. just drinking regular city tap water, water tap water right mm -hmm. so so not all water is made the same read the ingredients and where it was sourced mm -hmm. for even your water <laughs> yeah. but anyway so number one 
recommendation is to have some kind of electrolyte. You don't have to do element because it's kind of expensive. It it's is. flavorful, so I can't drink flavors all the time. So I'll have an element like raspberry because it is it is sweetened with stevia. Yeah. So it's some a plan. Yeah, it's not a hundred percent true, you know, carnivore, but you know, for us, we haven't had any ill effects from the stevia. So yeah, you know. you know, so. There's other types of... Mm -hmm. um, and Element makes an unflavored one, too, that doesn't have stevia. So if you want that, you just want the electrolytes, you can And there's other well. electrolytes you could buy, too. There's yeah. that other brand, that yeah. keto, keto one. Keto Chow. That That's a good one. one so, so, so I'll do a, I'll do a flavored one, and then I'll do non-flavored, just because the flavor is kind of strong. But anyway, that's the number one recommendation, right? Okay. I would agree. I think that's important. <sighs> Go ahead, you do number two. So my number two would be to make sure that you kind of prep your house. And I know that's hard, um, especially if you have a spouse that's not on board with you or, you know, you have children oh, that, that are so not. that would be so hard. I would, yeah, that would be hard. Um, especially if the two, if the spouses or the, you know, whatever, if you're on the same eating regimen, like yeah. you both like to have these chips or that piece right. of bread and then so, the one spouse says yeah i'm gonna go carnivore but you still have that temptation right Those, right so we were fortunate so like we just got rid of everything we donated some things some things that were open and you know half gone or three quarters gone those pitched and we like clean house we did it was crazy i wish yeah. i would take taken pictures because <laughs> our fridge that there was nothing in the fridge. There was fridge. nothing in the fridge. Like we, like condiments, everything we got. And we of. had every every delicious condiment: ketchup, <laughs> mustard, um, all kinds of hot ketchups yeah. and spices and Different. relishes and pickles. Yeah. Oh, all that good stuff. Yeah. So but once you start reading your labels and you start realizing sugar, sugar is in everything. Yeah, it's so frustrating. Soy lactate, soy this, soy that. I'm not going to do that again in this video. But <laughs> soy. Don't. Unless soy is organic, it's genetically modified, and yeah. it's just really bad for you. Watch our GMO video. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, so clean house. Clean your house. Get yourself prepared. And if you have to share, you know, with a spouse or some other family member that's not following carnivore with you, kind of come up with a plan. Like, where are you going to keep your things and, you know, what you like? And you may have to kind of set some ground rules, like, you know what, this is my stuff because I need this to pack for my lunch for work. I need, this is mine. I need to have this and, you know, we'll still make dinner the way I normally do or whatever, but this portion is for me because I need that. So that can be a little tricky. We're fortunate we didn't have to go through any of those discussions and power struggles with those, but I feel for those of you that do. Um, but and we've heard of, about a lot yeah, of people in comments. Yeah, a lot of comments. people have commented about things like that, about with a spouse that's not on board. Um, but a lot of you kind of just seem to make it work. You know, they. Um, I, I remember reading several comments where, you know, I just make a normal dinner as I would, and I just eat the meats, and the family has the side dishes with it. So there's ways you can make it work. You just, I think you just have to make sure that you have that strong willpower, and you just have kind of, drawn your line in the sand that, you know, I'm not going back to that. I'm going to give this the 30 days, the 60 days or 90 days, whatever it is that you yeah, chose. Clean it out so there's no temptations. Yeah. Make sure that you kind of set yourself up for success because, you know, it can be hard those first few days depending on what your normal diet was prior to starting carnivore. So if you're used to sitting on the couch and eating chips at night, you're going to Or popcorn. Even even yeah. the that popcorn. I used to always buy Skinny Pop. Yeah, Skinny Pop. That was my favorite. It I makes you skinny. It, it does. Not. <laughs> we ate a lot of Skinny Pop. It didn't work. <laughs> no. That was a diet that we tried too, and that just didn't work. Yeah. But anyway, so number three, I think. So we kind of got all excited because we've been looking for trying some new diet. And when we found this... We did it actually really quickly. Like one day, hey Jody. It was. Hey, I just watched this video on carnivore life on carnivore diet, and everybody's saying that if they're healed from all this stuff. It's like real crazy, mm -hmm. and they're all losing all this weight. Hey, you want to try it? Yeah, okay, sure. How about when we come back from this trip that we were planning? Because I yeah. think we talked about that on a Thursday, and we were like, all right. So when we come back on from this trip, 
on mm -hmm. Sunday, we'll, we'll plan it out and do it. So, <laughs> so the entire trip, we were just talking about it nonstop. Yeah. We were all excited to start it. So Sunday we came in, we threw everything out. Yeah. We didn't really plan, right? And we didn't have much water in the we house. We tend to be a little impulsive at times. <laughs> yeah, so plan it out. You know, if you are, you know, if, if you have city water, that should be another video because there's a website yeah. that you can go to and type in your municipality of your local township or whatever, and you could get what all the forever chemicals are in your water. So, you know, spring water is the best. Have That's, food on hand too. Yeah. Because we cleaned out our refrigerator and I think we cleaned it out before we left on vacation. Or not have. on vacation, but for that weekend getaway. We may have. I think we cleaned it out because Julia came home yes. and there was like nothing. She opened the fridge. Our daughter, who's, she's 20 now, was 19 at the time she opened the fridge and she was like, oh gosh, what are they doing now? Like, we can you did. imagine? We, did. we didn't tell her at all. No. Like, no, but we did save some of the condiments that she. she, she so she's not, uh, you know, following this way. Well, we've been but, trying to convince you know. her, but that's another story. But anyway, so. we did leave some of the condiments. So, but when we came back, we had to do a Costco run. Yeah. So we needed, so we have freezers, but, you know, we wanted to really focus heavily on steaks and red meats. With fat, fatty yeah. red meat. So we have we have ground beef. I mean, everybody keeps ground beef on hand, but and we have, you know, the more barbecue type stuff. We have a lot of ribs and you know things like that. But we didn't have a lot of steak, and the steaks that we did have were not overly fatty, like ribeyes, which is what we prefer. Yeah, and the reason for that, this might even go into number four, right? Because when you quit any type of carbs, right? When you quit all carbs. You, you're just <laughs> exhausted. If you don't have carbs. Did you just snore? I did. <laughs> that was prior to the carnivore lifestyle, right? <laughs> but if you don't if you don't have carbs, you have no energy, right? Like yeah. what do you do for energy, right? So your energy comes from the fat and meat. Mm -hmm. So if you're like, I'm gonna do carnivore and just eat chicken and salmon, you're not gonna survive that. Yeah. You're gonna be tired all the time. Mm -hmm. So you need to have a really good balance of good fats. You know, mm -hmm. eggs themselves are the most wonderful protein that you could eat. Yeah. It's got so many vitamins and nutrients that span, you know, the entire vitamins. Mm -hmm. um, so that just eating eggs alone will give you, well, not alone, but I mean, just, yeah. so if you were taking multivitamins, an egg more or less is a multivitamin. Yeah, it really it, is. I mean, it's got... It's amazing what's in eggs. So back to my point though, was um, you have to have red meat, fatty red meat, because the fat in the meat is what gives you your energy. Mm -hmm. And we didn't know that, right? Because we had chicken, we were eating chicken the first couple days, we were yeah. eating salmon, we'd have a steak too, but we had a lot of lean steaks. Yeah. So but we, then we learned yeah. that in order to have energy and to be able to function in life, <laughs> especially at work, yeah. you have to have a fatty red meat. And for us, you know, now that we're 86 days into this, we're st I'm starting to think I want to do, I want to go lion lifestyle mm -hmm. versus carnivore. So lion is just red meat, yeah. fatty red meat. Because it makes such a big the difference. Beef, salt and water would be, and, and that's totally it. So it's funny when we do have steak, like you get this like, I don't know how to describe that feeling. It's like a, there's like this calm energy about you after you eat it. Do you get that too? Yes. It's like this really weird feeling that you get when you have a really good steak like that. Like you're so satisfied. And you're, you're full. You're not hungry. Yeah, it's just, and you have this like euphoric state. I don't know, it's really yes. bizarre. But So if you don't like red meat, the carnivore yeah. diet, I don't know if that could, if, I mean, you could do keto, but I don't know if you could do strictly carnivore. It would be hard. I it think. would be really hard. You would have to really. Because you can't get fat, good fats from fish. No. I mean, eggs, you know. Like bone-in are... chicken thighs, maybe with the skin, with a lot of butter and. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, speaking his love language. Oh, okay. So not just red fatty meat. Um, you can, you put a lot of butter on everything. Mm -hmm. Like when we have fish, 
We put a lot of butter. We use butter as much as we can. Even our steak sometimes, we'll dip that in butter. We'll, mm -hmm. Salt too, right? You gotta yes. use a lot of salt. Salt, so when we tell people, uh, people that we're on the carnivore lifestyle and we eat a lot of salt and we eat a lot of butter, your body needs that salt, right? Your body needs that fat and the butter. So many people we know are on low fat diets, mm -hmm. right? And they get low fat chicken noodle soup and low fat mushroom soup or whatever and all this low fat stuff. When they have low fat stuff, they just strip all the nutrients out yeah. of cans and, and stuff. And they usually put in back in sugar in some form, and especially soy. in like canned things. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> but they put a lot of that stuff in because then if you're not having the fat in there, it doesn't probably taste good. So then they no. add other stuff in to make it taste better. And that's how they get you. Yeah, and, and it goes back to the whole food pyramid. That food pyramid is upside down. Yeah. They want you to have six to eight servings of of waffles and pop tarts <laughs> and cereal and bread. Pop tarts and bread. They want you to eat all these carbs Ugh. and at the you know and then you just get this little piece of meat. Right. Like and that's why we all looked like oompa loompas because we were eating you know eleven pieces of bread in a day and a whole pizza. Just <laughs> fold that baby in half. <laughs> but still that sounds delicious i know the whole food pyramid is such a crock and there's videos on why they even did the food pyramid in the first place right yeah. and i think big pharma was behind it personally <laughs> but i'm not going to go there Please don't. um so so mine my the number four thing was what i was saying was you know have menu prepared yeah. have some stuff on hand don't do what yes. we did and throw all your stuff out and then have to go shopping. Then you're in a panic. Right? You're yeah. like, what, what do we what? do? And then sometimes when you do that too, then you like panic buy, right? Like where we should have just spent some time going through our freezer and really knowing exactly what we had on hand. We were like, oh my gosh, we don't have any steak. Ah. So we went and then, you know, $800 later, you're walking out of Costco. Oh, that was like, a big Costco run. Holy crap, <laughs> what the heck just happened? Because you just get into this mode like, I want to make sure we have enough. Like that was our thing. Yes. Like, in the beginning, you don't know how much you're going to need to eat because you're thinking, well, I'm just going to have a steak that's oh, this that's big. That's a good point. So that's number five, maybe. Uh, yeah, that could be good. And now we kind of know how much each of us eat to be satisfied. But in the beginning, we, we each didn't made know. our. Yeah, because in the beginning, because when you eat a big salad, right, there's mm -hmm. a Seinfeld. Oh, the, the big it's, salad. It's a salad in a big bowl. <laughs> it's a big salad. So before we started carnivore, you could eat a lot. And when you yeah. ate a lot, you went to the bathroom a lot. But you were eating like lettuce, you know, salads, potatoes, potatoes and all yeah. that stuff. And that stuff goes through you pretty quick. So, you know, on a carnivore lifestyle, you don't go to the bathroom that much. Mm -hmm. Number two anyways, right? It's like maybe every other day. Because your body is so streamlined, so efficient, and it burns your calories so well, and you lose so much weight, and it takes that protein, and it builds muscle, and you don't even do anything, and you get all these muscles, and you lose all this fat. So you don't go to the bathroom that much, because that's what your body was meant to eat. Yeah. Right? Sorry for that rant again. But, um, I totally segued again. I know. So let's get back to where we were. So... Um, About, you eat so you don't much. know how much you're going to eat in the beginning. So no, you don't. You're probably going to over prepare like for a meal because you're in the beginning. We used to make some like two ribeyes that were two inches thick and this big. And we're like, yeah, we're Pals, eat this right? huge steak. And then we sit down and we each ate, you know, a third of the steak. And we're like, oh, yeah. I guess we don't need to eat this, yeah, but like, this much. We used to do big Sunday cooks too, where mm -hmm. we would cook. A yeah. bunch of steaks, like four steaks for the week. Mm -hmm. We'd cook all the kibasi, which is plural for kibasa. <laughs> we had this debate on one of our other videos. Yes. So kibasi <laughs> is plural for kibasa. Yeah. Okay, so we learned that. So we would make a lot of kibasi. We would make a big pile of bacon and mm -hmm. like all this food. Some burgers. And all then all by the end stuff. of the week, we still had like half of it left and it's getting old. Yeah. And we're sitting there trying to eat it, but you only eat till you're full. And on the carnivore lifestyle, 
you get full really fast. So yeah. you don't eat that much. Yeah, we've had to totally scale back. And so Way back, We haven't shockingly. been doing those huge preps anymore because we've found that if we cook, you know, a few times during the week, there's usually enough leftovers. My biggest concern is always, what am I taking to lunch? She because she works in the office. Where he's home. If he needs to whip up some eggs or whatever, he can. And I'm kind of at the mercy of whatever I can pack. So, But we've learned kind of... When, what nights we need to cook some things because I know, okay, well, I'll make these two steaks so that'll carry us for a couple days. Keep going. <laughs> I kind of check to make sure we're recording and everything's working because <laughs> this is good material. <laughs> um, they're on the edge of their seat. I know. So I'm on the edge room. of my seat. But yeah, like you eat so much less food. Yeah. It's, it's incredible. And you're full. Mm -hmm. You're it's not really hungry. Satisfied. So this morning we had two eggs each yeah. and we had a little piece of leftover a really small piece of leftover steak yeah. from last night yep. and i had two pieces of bacon i think you had one mm -hmm. i had one piece of and bacon. it's almost 4 30 5 o'clock something like that and we're not really hungry I, you know what it is Four. you drink a lot of water too mm -hmm. and i think water keeps you kind of full yeah definitely yeah so that's the one thing in the beginning like it may take you a little, like a few weeks to kind of like get your bearings, especially if it's just you. Like I would imagine yeah. it would be a little bit trickier. And also, of course, are you, are you working outside of the home? Do you need to take food with you? Then you kind of need to plan a little differently than someone who works from home where they can have a little bit more flexibility. But for me, I, you know, and my office is limited. Like I don't have like an air fryer. I got a microwave. And you've done videos, so look yeah. at some of our shorts because she's been doing shorts mm -hmm. on how she stays carnivore in the office. And yeah, so just works different out things well. that, that I can eat. Um, and I've kind of learned when to time my lunch, breakfast. I don't usually eat breakfast during the work week. So I eat, you know, after this one set meeting that I have, I eat. And then I'm hungry again when I get home, so then we'll have whatever we're having for dinner together. Because I was trying to wait till later in the day, but then I wasn't hungry in the evening. So, um, so uh, I think part of it for me was I wasn't eating enough. You know, there were a couple weeks there, I think, in some of our other update videos where I wasn't really uh, losing. That's I was actually stalling, a good point. And I think I wasn't eating enough. And that's a hard thing sometimes, especially for women, you think, oh, it's back to that whole starvation diet. Like, you know, you go through and you think, I just need to eat this pile of salad and then I'm gonna be skinny when I wake up in the morning. As long as I starve myself today, I'll be down. And that wasn't the case. Like my weight was staying the same. Sometimes I was up. And I was telling her because yeah. you have to eat more steak. You have yeah. to eat steak. Because steak for some reason gets your metabolism running like crazy. And the weird thing I've noticed, we were just talking about this the other day, the days that I eat a lot of butter, like I take in a lot of fat, for me, the weight just falls off. Like it's crazy. Like we had um, some shrimp yesterday that I cooked in butter and we had some crab legs dipped in butter. I ate all that, like I probably had a half a stick of butter on my own. And yeah, it's down a pound this morning. It's just like, and I know you're not supposed to weigh yourself every day, but it keeps me on track. So that's what I do. But um, so anyway, so I think you have to kind of leverage that and, and make your plan according to what your what does your everyday demand look like? Do you need to? And it changes, have, though. It does. And sometimes, you know, we, we like variety. So I think that that's one thing like that's helped us. So we usually have several different proteins that on hand that are cooked. So you can quickly throw together a meal like, oh, okay, there's a half a steak in here. I'll have that, a piece of kielbasa. That's right, singular. And, um, and a, a piece of salmon. Yeah, like whatever it is. Or a and chicken just, wing. So I'll take little three little things and that'll be my lunch for the day. And that's good. So it's almost like having side dishes. It kind of tricks your brain into thinking you're having a typical meal when it's really just all the protein, so. That was actually good points. Yeah, no, I totally agree. And, but for me, if we have salmon, like if I have eggs for breakfast and like a piece of bacon or a piece of bacon or something, and then if I don't eat steak at all during the day, I don't yeah. lose weight at all. Yeah. He, and then you get kind of lethargic a little bit. But not horribly, as long but. as you use a lot of butter on, even on, like when you cook the eggs, depending on how you cook the eggs. I mean, I like hard boiled eggs too, mm -hmm. where I just put salt on, my, on after I cut them up. Mm -hmm. I like hard boiled eggs with salt, but if you make like any type of egg in a skillet, put a lot of butter in yeah. there. 
That's right? You got to use butter on everything yeah. if you're not eating a fatty steak or fatty mm -hmm. red meat. Yeah. So those are big tips right there. And we didn't know that in the beginning. In the beginning, I was tired. Oh, you know, we did an update too, like our 37 day update that I was really lethargic and tired and didn't realize it. And I was only at like, like 80% of my energy level prior to carnivore. But then on like day 32, was it, was it was somewhere, I, it I was forget. was 25. Was it 25? Okay, so then on 25, said. on day 25, bam, everything changed yeah. instantly for some reason. And I had all my energy back. I don't know if it was because maybe we were eating more steak or something, but mm -hmm. it took, or maybe it was just the inflammation mm -hmm. that, that something changed inside me. And then I was back to 100%. I might even went higher than 100%. But that's why everybody says you have to do 90 days. Yeah. Because it took 25 days just for me to get back to 100%. And, and I don't sit still. I mean, no. I built this building. I've built all these other buildings. There's a lot to take care of and do. And for me to be at 80%, that's not good. Yeah. But so it took 25 days. So if you're going to be like, oh, I'm only going to do this diet for 30 days, yeah. you're going to miss out on a lot of stuff that took her eyes 68 mm -hmm. days mm -hmm. to readjust, right? So yeah. inflammation goes, leaves pretty quick. Mm -hmm. Like you drop a lot of weight in the beginning, which you is do. awesome. And it, and it, it kind of like makes you feel good. Yes. It's like, this is great. I yeah. lost all this weight. <laughs> um, but all the really good um, side effects from this lifestyle doesn't happen until much later. Yeah, it takes time. So that's probably tip number six is you have to give it time. Or was that tip number one? I don't know. We'll have to write these no. down and put them in a, in a <laughs> In the description. index. Description, yeah. Yeah, but um, you have to go at least 90 days. Yeah. I, and that's what everybody says because it takes that long for everything to work its way through mm -hmm. and to adjust. But back to the, all the food stuff, before you start, you know, meal planning might be good too, right? Yeah. Because like we panicked, like, what are we going to eat for breakfast? What are we going to eat for lunch? Yeah. We don't even eat lunch anymore. Well, I do. Well, on the weekends, we don't. Oh, yeah. Well, that's what I meant to say. I, yeah. yeah. So on the weekends, we'll have a, a nice breakfast, and then we'll have dinner. Yeah, usually. but the nice breakfast is two eggs, two <laughs> bacon, and a little piece of tiny yeah. piece of steak. It's not like this huge, massive breakfast. And in the old days, we would make pancakes. She, she was, she's always been a good cook, mm -hmm. um, and she would make homemade pancakes from that's scratch. That's why we were... <laughs> and she would make the best <laughs> pancakes from scratch with they peanut butter good. chips in them and stuff. Or not peanut butter, chocolate chips. I was like, why'd that sound weird? She'd put um, chocolate chips in the, and sometimes Aww. blueberries with real maple syrup. And then we would have like bacon, right? Because yeah. we didn't know. And then he needed a nap. Yes. Oh my God. And then that Saturday, I'd be so messed up all day. I'd yeah. be. I'd be and sleeping. And again, he'd ask for it every weekend. Can you make pancakes this weekend? I'm like, you're good. You so have growing stuff to up, do. growing up though, pancakes and spaghetti were my two go-to things. Yeah. Even. You know, that's probably why I was 275 pounds at one point, too, <laughs> was that those were my two go-to. It was the Barks root beer, I thought, and, and the brownies. And uh, the Barks root beer and the brownies. Okay, and pancakes <laughs> and spaghetti. It's a long list. <laughs> oh. But you know what, though? Life is so much better. Yeah. Um, and, you know, you just feel so much better. Life is good. And you eat good food. You yeah. eat good meat. You're so satisfied. And it's and so good. Yeah, we stopped everything. You know, soda. Mm -hmm. We stopped everything. Alcohol. We. I mean, everything. Yeah. Everything, and which included going out mm -hmm. to dinner. We really did. Because we didn't know what to, what to do. We were like, yeah. "Well, we're gonna go out to dinner. We can't go out to dinner." So yeah. we quit everything for the first thirty days. We didn't go out to eat. No. We didn't go out to drink. It's like we did, like I went to work and then we stayed home. Like we didn't do anything. We got a lot done around the <laughs> we, house. We did, but we were just like, you know, you're unsure of yourself. You don't know what to do or what to ask. Yeah, for what, or, how to order food? Yeah, we like, were just yeah, kind of like, like oh, we quit everything. Let's just stay home yeah, because we can control everything here. You yeah, know? we wanted to be under control. Yeah, and no that things weren't getting cooked in seed oil yeah. or anything that, that you shouldn't have, right? So, and I forgot to say that when we were talking about, we gave up all the soda, we gave up everything, mm -hmm. the alcohol, but you know, going out to eat, I mean, we didn't go out to eat a lot once a week, mm -hmm. maybe twice yeah. if it was a Wednesday and we had a rough week, 
back in the day, right? Mm -hmm. And when we went out to eat, we would usually sit in the bar area at a high top. I love my high tops. (laughs) And we would get like appetizers and we would sit there for hours, just people watching and just Mm -hmm. relaxing. And and that was a big part of our life too. Like we really enjoyed... We, we, we never sit at low top regular tables <laughs> and eat a dinner. I mean, when's the last time we've no, gone out to, to dinner? No, to like have like a real dinner. Yeah. Right. No, but that's really so, odd. you know, this is supposed to be about like I giving know. good tips. Yeah. But the tip is, you know, if you go out to eat all the time, you're going to have to rethink that. At mm-hmm. least stop for well, a week or two weeks or 30 yeah. days like we did. That way you can learn what you can order and what you shouldn't order because Mm -hmm. of how they cook stuff too. So that's kind of where I was going with that, right? Because, you know, with Jody's story, she was 60 days in. Like, I don't think you would have thought to take hard-boiled eggs. I would have never. And taken steak and, you know, in a nice ice cooler and stuff like that. My bag was filled to the brim with all kinds of food and, and I had everything. I brought utensils with me. I carried my little salt shaker in my purse. I had electrolytes with me. So at the conference, I refilled my water bottle with the water they had there. Great tip there, taking added electrolytes. My electrolytes to it. And it's funny, we were, I think there were eight people at each table. And I think collectively, the other seven people at my table may have had like two bottles of water between all of them. Like no one was drinking anything. And I'm like over there sucking my water down. Yeah, I this, finished the big two bottle, of those during my conference. 32 ounces. And I refilled it again so that I would have it in the hotel room for the evening and the overnight. And then when I get back to the conference in the morning, I filled it up again. <laughs> like I just was wanted to make sure that I stayed hydrated because that's another thing too. Because then you're not hydrated, you get headaches and everything else. So oh, that was a big thing that we mm-hmm. didn't say either. Is on the carnivore diet, we haven't had a headache. Oh yeah, we did say that, which is yeah. really odd. And we didn't bring that up in no. the last update. I know. It's like you don't get headaches either. No. No stress related headaches. Mm-mm. No. Well, I mean, you wouldn't be hydrated no. headaches anymore. But no hormonal headaches. So typically with my cycle, I would get headaches the you know that first day or two, and they were pretty rough. Like where I'd have to take ibuprofen. Like you just couldn't get through the day without it. And I really tried to avoid that as much as possible. But typically that first day or so, I would need to take something just to kind of get yeah. over the hump. But not anymore. Yeah, that's crazy. We haven't had a headache in sixty-eight days. Not that we had them. Eighty-six. Eighty-six days. I mean, so, yeah, I mean, I would get strenuous headaches where I don't get strenuous headaches because of all the stuff that I move and do. But, yeah, yeah, that, and we just, it dawned on us the other day. (laughs) Have you had a headache? No. Okay, but anyway. Yeah. um, So, we're learning that when you go, you can't go out to eat. Absolutely. Yeah. That same work trip, we ended up at um, a taco place. And I was first, that one was, that one did posed a challenge to me because of course the menu it was kind of more of a specialty place so they had all these specialty tacos and they all sounded fantastic but there were a lot of sauces on there that I wasn't sure of and you know different things but they had a bowl option so you can get your taco in a bowl so that's what I did I got brisket um I think it was like a pulled pork carnitas or something and bacon had the three of those they're like, would you like this on it? Would you like that? No, nope, just the meat in the bowl. And they, I asked for a little small side of sour cream. So I had that. It was perfect. Hit the spot. I was satisfied. Didn't have any heartburn, indigestion, or anything else. Because I looked at my counterparts eating all. And this was late. This was probably 8.30, 9 at night. And, you know, people were drinking on top of that. And so... I can imagine none of them really slept very well because that was that's rough because we had to be up pretty early in the morning for the conference, but I made it work and you just had to get creative and just tell them exactly what you want. So, and that's always been hard for me. It's like asking for those special, like being that that person when you go out to eat. Well, no, I don't want that. Can you hold that? Can I substitute this? Can I, you know? But most. Most of the times, like when you go out and you get a burger without the bun, that's fairly common now. Yeah, but they still, depending upon where you go, because it's not that we go out that often anymore. We really don't go out that often. No. We went to our local moose that all of, all of our neighbors are there. So we're like, hey, we got to go back. We haven't seen our neighbor. So we mm-hmm. went there and I went to order us food. Yeah, I'll have a hamburger 
with two slices of American cheese and bacon. Okay, and then she was like, what about ketchup, mustard, pickles? Well, uh, that's all I want, no bun. All I want is the burger, the cheese, and the bacon. No chips, no fries, I just want that. And, yeah. she, and she was like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> they came out with, with chips on it anyways. They did. <laughs> so yeah, uh, so sometimes little things like that yeah, But you learn, right? Yeah. And I don't think we would have been able to order that if we weren't like 80 days into yeah, it. Because then you just don't even care anymore. No, so, yeah. <laughs> you're just like, this is what I want. And when it screws up and it comes with the chips, you're not even tempted by no, it. No, like, not at all. You really aren't. Like, yeah. Because all that seed oil in those potatoes mm -hmm. that are on that chip is just horrific for you. Yeah. And it, it'll probably destroy you if you ate that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so yeah. so so you can't go out, but I don't know. I mean, would you recommend people not even going out to eat for 30 days until you I, get your bearings? I, I don't know. I feel like that's what really helped us because... To learn what you like, yeah, and how like, things are cooked. How do you like your steak? Like, if you're not normally a steak eater, like, we didn't really ever cook ribeyes before. I don't think we've like, ever cooked a ribeye. We had ribeye. some steak, but we didn't buy that. You know? No, we cooked with the... Those other types of steaks yeah. that had no marbling at all. <laughs> no. So like you could have to cut out all that fat. Let's get these ones. They're right? just red meat. <laughs> <laughs> right? And now, like, because we found some of those still left in the freezers, I'll cook them and then, like, we'll each have a bowl of melted butter that we'll dip it in because it doesn't With have With salt, fat. too, right? You got to yeah. add salt to everything. So it's just funny how things... Drink, right? Drink mix for your electrolytes, but Redmond salt. Yeah. Everybody does Redmond salt. It's healthy for you. It's pure. And you, and you have to put salt on everything just to keep your electrolytes mm -hmm. still good. So salt, butter, those are your two main ingredients on everything. What are, one, maybe one last recommendation for us in the beginning, because we're like, oh, you're just going to eat steak and steak. Ugh, I don't want to eat steak all the time. So I think kind of what helped us get to where we are, that we did have... Um, like chicken, mm -hmm. salmon, eggs, bacon, sausages. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we, we had a huge amount, but we always read the ingredients, right? Yeah. So we stayed away from sugar. We stayed away from soybean, anything. Mm -hmm. So in the beginning, I think that helped us too. Because we yeah. were, because we didn't realize, you're just going to eat steak. Just steak right. every day, you're going to eat steak. <laughs> We're just going to eat steak. Are you kidding me? <laughs> so in the beginning, don't be in that mindset, right? You know, have eggs, have bacon, have kibasi, have yeah. sausages. And I think the other part of doing it like that is that those are like the comfort, familiar foods that we're used to. So like we used to eat a lot of salmon anyway. So I cook it the same way we always have. So it's familiar. It's comfort chicken thighs with the bone in and the skin on like i made those before like we know we like them you know so just different things sometimes i have to change the way i prepare things because i want to have you know maybe i don't use a breadcrumb that i used before or you know whatever certain spices things like that yeah. but um all in all like certain things or it's like oh yeah i like i like those and it's just a, a comfort so i think it probably took us a good 30 days just to get to a comfort level on what we enjoyed eating mm -hmm. with this new lifestyle so you know it took me a long time to understand as long as i get a red fatty steak it elevates everything about me yeah it gives me the energy that i need versus having a piece of kibasi and a piece mm -hmm. of salmon the red fatty steak works for me. Yeah. And I've noticed that too for myself. Like I can't eat, I can't go days without a steak. Like I, oh, I probably, would. I could probably go one day, like every other day and have that, but you do, you kind of crave it. You like, do. <laughs> and your energy level, unless you're eating a lot of butter on yeah. something that's like on a chicken thigh or something, it's like, Red meat is 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 goal is yeah. key to mm -hmm. this whole lifestyle. I do believe. I would agree. And you know, red steak, just a little package of card size is all you, mm -hmm. you you can eat. Like you know, the whole food industry and everybody just gives red meat such a bad rap. But you know, that's the key to life. I think too. I think when you're starting out, people think when they hear about eating like something like a ribeye, 
your first thought is, how the heck am I going to afford that? Those are so expensive. Well, we're not buying bread. We're not buying fruit. We're not buying vegetables. We're not buying Well, even that, but the, but the junk food is so expensive. Like a box of oh. cereal is eight bucks now and they shrink it. So it, like the shrink, shrink, shrkflation. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> it's, it's so off the charts. Yeah. It's like and it, everything. And yeah. So if yeah. you're not buying all the condiments mm -hmm. and you're not buying cereal and all kinds of, of, of popcorn and all that stuff. Yeah. yeah, you could. And if you do get a big ribeye, like one ribeye would be good for us for a night. Mm -hmm. And then we, yeah. we might have a, a little piece left and I'm a big guy. I'm still 209, 210. And a little piece of steak with some eggs is all I need. And I'm yeah. full all day. Yeah. Right. So, you know, you could share a steak, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, we do that a lot. Like we'll have, we might make two steaks, but we'll only eat one and we'll split it. And then we know we have that extra steak so he can have some for breakfast. I'll take some for my lunch. Yeah. And then we're good. Like last night, you made like 20 shrimp. <laughs> we had so all those, food. we had some cra crab legs. Yeah. And then there was something else that you made. On top of the 20 shrimp, was. wasn't there? Oh, that. it was the fish. Oh, yeah. It, it, was, it was a little small piece of uh, cod, right? There were two mm -hmm. little small pieces of cod, like 20 shrimp and some crab legs. So we ate the crab legs, and I think I was only able to eat two, three shrimp yeah. and a half of fish. It's like as you progress on to this lifestyle, your appetite is so small and your body processes everything so efficiently. Yeah, I couldn't even eat anything after the crab legs. Like I, I cooked the other stuff because we had it defrosted and it was ready to go, but I couldn't eat it. Like I was full after that. So it's, it's not crazy. that, so the whole point of us telling you this is that it's not that expensive, no. right? I mean, because you don't eat that much food once you get into it. Once mm -hmm. you're five days, 10 days into it, yeah. your appetite plummets. Yes. And you don't eat that much food. And what you do eat, you process it so well mm -hmm. that you're only going to the bathroom, number two. You're very fixated on this bathroom thing. Well, because the standard American diet, people go two, three times a day. I two, know. twice a day. Oh, I know. I, I used to go twice a day, every yeah. day, twice a day. And it's kind of crazy. It is. Think about it. So you're eating all this stuff that your body can't even use. So you're, it's a waste. Everything you're taking in is going back out. It's like like when you used to take me to Kentucky Fried Chicken. <laughs> Took her there once. Because she's never, she was never, anyway. I had never you were never there. there. We went once and. It was not. And this was way before. This yeah. was like. 28 years ago. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> they don't, if they didn't watch that video, they're not going to know why that was funny. Oh. But anyway, so I, th I, I think that about wraps yeah. it up. I mean, we would strongly okay. encourage everyone to yeah. start this as a lifestyle, not as a diet. Yeah. It's not something, any diet, right? I think any diet you cannot treat as a diet as because a, yeah. as a set start and a set end, yes. I'm going to do this for 30 days and I'm yeah, going to go back absolutely. to the way I was. Right. You can't do that. <laughs> Once you learn something, you can't forget it. Yeah. It's, a t it's the same thing. This is a lifestyle. And that food pyramid, like what we were saying, needs to be flipped upside down. And you should be eating 90% protein at least. If you want a piece of bread, eat a piece of bread. It's not going to kill you. Try, well, it, it might. <laughs> you never know. But, you know, protein. It's like that's what we're going to do forever. Mm -hmm. It's, it's yeah. just who we are now is that you're going to eat protein, a lot of it. And you're after you're in it for so long, like we're almost to 90 days, like we feel so good. The idea of going back, like no matter how much I love pizza or oh, fill in the blank, I love right? Pizza. Like we Spaghetti. love pizza. Pancakes. Like I just, <laughs> 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 but it's not worth it. To no. Me. Like I feel so good now that it's like, why, why ruin a good thing? You know, it's like, I, I we're in a good place right now and I'm very satisfied with our, our food intake and what we're eating. And I don't want to mess that up for one meal to have pizza. Really? Why? You know, and we'll, you know, and that's something that that's our decision. You know, some people who maybe follow this lifestyle and have done it for years are like, you know what, once a month I'm going to go out and I'm going to eat whatever I want. And then it is what it is. But I could you know, see that too, actually. I, I'm just afraid that like, cause I know how I've been in the past, everything's a slippery slope for me. 
So I kind But luckily, of, you know, we're doing this together. Yes, so, so we can it, rein each other in. So if someone... And we is, haven't had any issues. No, no. He's been good. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah. I, I, I think we're pretty much at the end here. So yeah. strongly encourage everybody yeah. to uh, try this and it's, stick with it. It's life-changing. It is very life-changing. You have to do it. You have to kind of go in... Plan everything out like what we were saying. And you got to go at least 90 days. I mean, if yeah. you do 30 days, that's great. You'll drop a lot of weight. But if you just treat it as a diet, I did it for 30 days. I'm out. I'm going to go get my pizza now. Mm -hmm. You're going to gain it all back. And yeah. you're going to get the inflammation back. You're going to get tired again. You're going to get your swelling back. You're going to start snoring again. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've watched a lot of videos where... Everything comes back as soon as you start eating the standard American diet of just crap food. Yeah. So we we have no intentions of ever stopping. Mm -mm. No, we feel too good. It's not worth it. And we're very, we, we love steak. We love this way of eating. Like we're so happy with it that I... I can't imagine eating another way. Right no, I, or another diet. Like mm -hmm. all those diets that we tried, <laughs> it had a start and a stop, right? Because you stopped because you weren't losing weight or you gained weight and yeah. you're eating a salad. You're like, because you're so inflamed. Mm -hmm. Anyway, let's not rehash that. Yeah. I think we're good. I think, um, you know, drop us a comment. If you have any questions or want to know anything else, you know, drop us some comments. We'll be we'll love to talk with you. Yeah. Um, other than that, uh, we're wishing you all the success, and we really hope you start this new lifestyle. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. So all thanks right. so much for watching. Hey. Say bye to Lloyd. Yeah. Um, <laughs> also, hey, if you could do a thumbs up, we'd greatly appreciate it. Yeah. Um, yeah, and if you subscribe, because we're going to be cooking in our little cookhouse here. We're going to be doing all kinds of carnivore um, food, uh, hints and tips and tricks and all that stuff in here, too, throughout the winter. So look forward to those videos. Thank you. Thanks so much for watching. All right. Thanks for joining everyone. Um, today we are in our shed bar, AKA where we're going to do a lot of video um, to prep food. So we'll be at this table here with our friend Lloyd there, um, prepping all of our food. And then out this window here is where our lean to is. And, you know, that's where we do all of our barbecuing, all of our cooking outdoors. Um, so this room is going to be kind of a hangout room. Uh, so right now, though, we just have the, as you can see, the plywood on the sides. Um, we're still debating on wall coverings. We're thinking we're going to do board and batten on the bottom and some kind of rusted corrugated steel around the top on the sides. It's kind of where we're headed right now. Um, and there's Jody who wants, she's waiting for me to stop talking, but uh, come on in. So I just put in the wood stove. So we'll have some heat in the winter. Hey, Jody, welcome. I was just giving everybody an over tour, an over tour. An overview. Oh, it is a tour. And then there's our chandelier up there. We still have some wine bottles to try to collect to put into our chandelier. Um, and then back here are our fancy lights that we kind of like. And then what we're going to do on this back wall, <laughs> ignore the scary monster. Like I said, we're getting ready for Halloween um, party. So on this back wall, we're going to put those bricks the half bricks, so the thin bricks. So we have all these bricks we're gonna do on the back wall and then on the 